Hey, hey. So I don't know if I've gone over this yet. Um, this is kind of my goals. I've got um, six months worth over here. This is the last of 2017. And then this is the goals for my snowballs in 2018. So for July, I have to double check and make sure that I don't think I put this amount of money into into these places, but um, the amount I intended to put towards my emergency fund was 600 towards my um, stomp it goal, 140 My sock is at 200 And then next month, I intend on putting, uh, what is it? Oh, now it's got to be 515 because I had a... Your balance is under a thousand four dollar dink, so I gotta increase that. Um, my stomp it will be 205 is what I anticipate putting towards that. Um, my sock balance should be up to 300 because once my sock gets up to 500, I'm gonna stop giving to that. Um, then in September, because August I should have my emergency fund funded, September um, I will be able to put all of my extra towards my Stomp It. So um, that should be just shy of $700. We'll bring my total up to $1420. Probably not now because I've paid a couple um, copays. Sock will be up to 400 October will be the last time, hopefully, that I pay into my sock. That'll be at 500 and then I'll be done. I estimate that I'll have um, 600 You know, I think these numbers are going to be off now because I increased my grocery amount. So, I'll have to double check. Double check these numbers. Um... You might be 640, but that should bring me, even still, 50-50. So that should still bring me to 2,000 for um, my medical dental, and then I can get my teeth fixed in October. Well, November, maybe. And then in November, my goal is to shift all of my extra money towards my car fund. I have an older car. It's a... 1993 Ranger. It gets the job done, but I want to be able to have a bit of a security blanket there um, in case something does happen. So, November, I'll put all the extra, which I think is probably going to be 740 now instead of 790. I'll have to go through and double check my math, but um, these are rough estimates. I'll update this every time that I put the right amount of money in it. But no matter what, starting in November, I'm going to start putting money towards my car. Even though this should should be pretty close to $2,000. Um, and then December, I'll put more money towards my car. That should bring it up to just shy of $2,000 also. And then in January, I will start my student loan number two um i have six student loans this one yes it's the highest balance but it's also gaining like six hundred dollars a year so um my goal is to just get that one paid off. It'll take me all year pretty much to get this one paid off. This one's the highest interest rate. Um, compounds the interest weekly, I think. So it's it's like a big ugly. And if I get this one out of the way, then I will feel so much better. And uh, I'm hoping that in December... I will only have um, maybe like another $500 to go by the time I get here. That's not including interest, so we'll see what really ends up happening. But um, And then for my tithe, 
I made that video about the non-tithe. So the first month I'll put 1%. So I estimate that I make, you know, $2,000. So 1% is 20 bucks. Next is 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%. Six percent, uh, eight, nine, ten, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it basically balances out to being about six percent, um, of my monthly income over the course of my year. So, um, that's about how much I anticipate having to put towards my goal. Um, I'm still interested in um, buying calculators for kids at school. 7920 is the approximate amount that I'll be putting towards my baby step snowball s step. So uh, yeah, so that's kind of kind of where we're at. That's the anticipation for 2018 is um basically like that so yeah i'll have to rework the numbers um i give myself this the end of the to the end of this year to sort of figure out what's going on with my food budget how that'll be affected um i might even be able to i've got a greenhouse I kind of want to make a hot bed, which is, uh, you build up a bed and lots of composting materials in it, so, um, alfalfa and hay and kitchen scraps and maybe go and get some hot manure from somebody, um, and then it'll make a bed that stays warm longer, so in the winter you can grow more veggies and uh, maybe even put a cover over that so it'll hold in more of the heat just for the veggies. I might be able to grow um, leaf, leafy greens and then uh, come April I should be able to start planting things out again. April and May and June. March, April, May that's kind of like where you prep the gardens here in Oregon. March is a little bit early that's normally where I'll, um, if I'm going to turn the soil, I turn the soil, I add lots of compost, and then it's done. Like, that's all that I do for, so I basically feed the soil and get it started. And then in April is when you can start putting out certain seeds, um, like peas. Um, you can kind of start sowing some lettuces. May is when you can really get started sowing lettuces, but April is a good time to be able to sow things indoors, so in little pots, and then May you can plant them all out. June is the beginning of harvest time for greens. Uh, end of July, August is about when you can start harvesting tomatoes around here. September, the tomatoes are pretty much done. October is when you pretty much you get the last little bits you try and ripen up what you can and then uh like October November you put your garden back to bed so you pull up all of the any of the plants or chop and drop chop them down and and put them over the over the soil and then uh put a mulch over it or plastic depends on what you want you want done with your soil and then uh then December, everything's back in bed again, and I'll probably do a a hot bed again. Oh, itchy. Anyway, so that's excuse me. That's the goal. Um, I guess also I went over um, my July budget. Um, all of this stuff pretty much went as normal. This is just the what I planned the budget. Um, this is what really went on. My emergency fund. I put 200 in the beginning. I pulled out 525 when I was taking my cat to the vet. Um, and I also pulled out more money from my savings account. Um, 130. But 
Um, I pulled out $525 from my emergency fund to help fund that. Um, $55.66 is the leftovers after I had gotten done putting my cat down. $420 is what I had to put towards emergency fund for my second um, paycheck. My savings account, um, I took out $130 to help pay for Oscar. I added um, $15.18 for my over-under. And I pulled out 14 because I went and had had food and didn't have pocket money. I ate out, and so I decided I'd take that out of my savings account. My stomp, which is my medical and dental, I put in 35 and 115. I took out 25 for a copay, uh, almost 18 bucks for some pharmacy meds and 60 bucks for copays so i ended up adding 47 dollars and then this is what i have um at the end of july left over i paid these um i paid these here so out of two hundred dollars i have 21 dollars left i spent a lot of money on groceries um organic groceries and whatnot like that so that's uh that's the reason why i want to add add more to my grocery budget to be able to cover when i have to go organic but hopefully with gardening i'll be able to grow my own organic greens and things like that um leftover for my garden fund i put oh, it's not on there I put um, 50 bucks in it, so I still have 101 for my pets. I do 30 bucks a month, so I had 166. Um, yeah, that's supposed to be able to pay for the emergency cat issue, but I'm I'm gonna try to get this up to 500. Um, so that then I can just pull from that. So if the cat has an emergency, I just grab that envelope and take that down to the vet with me is how I'm gonna start operating it. I'll keep 30 bucks in my wallet for being able to buy cat food and things like that but um, anything over 30 bucks every month I'll be putting um, into the can which will have an envelope so if I have to take the cat to the vet I bring down the envelope and pay with that first and then emergency fund second. Um my personal, I still have my twenty dollars that I put into it. And my sock is at two hundred dollars right now. Yep. That's what's going on. That's what's going on. Then I also made a note about I paid rent to my uncle instead of to my aunt, but they live together, so hopefully that'll be okay. I think she got it. It's a pretty honest guy. Alright. So, that's where we are. Okay. So, that was how July went down. Goals for the next six months. Anticipation for the 2018. And some garden stuff. Alright. Have a great day. Time to go grocery shopping with $21. <laughs>